Okay. I just talk. I got plenty okay. of tape. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I consider the power of the Holy Spirit in Pentecost has once again shown up in the United Methodist Church as we have had this moment of uh, calling upon the bishops to give leadership to the fishbone cut in their throats over the issue of human sexuality. And I am grateful that we have an opportunity to put a pause button on this conversation and to spend a couple years studying this carefully and writing things in a new and updated way that may serve the church better as we go forward. I don't know what the results of that will be, but I do know God is in the midst of the process as we have conversation and prayer together. So in that, I'm greatly rejoicing and pray as the church moves forward in all the other million ways we're doing evangelism and mission and ministry, that we will be hard at work proclaiming the gospel to all the world in the years to come. But I do want to say, please tell the story because so much good is happening here and it's not just about human sexuality or about Israel and Palestine. There's so many wonderful petitions, so many missions, so many opportunities for telling people about Jesus Christ and the good news of the gospel that we have passed in our consent calendars that would just boggle anyone's mind. So look carefully at the reports and the digests of all those things that have passed and rejoice. Rejoice in your church that continues to be a united Methodist church, that continues to be concerned about diversity, that continues to spread the love of Jesus Christ and the salvation and life-changing good news that will transform hearts and lives. What else can I say? 